Okay, we're still solving equations, but we're going to deal with fractions. And actually, as overwhelming as that seems, there's actually a trick to it. So what I want to do, first of all, I need you to understand what are considered groups within the problem. Okay, and what I mean is this. Anything separated by a plus or a minus or an equal sign creates its own group. So I've got three groups in this problem. So separated by a minus, separated by an equal. There's my three groups. Okay, now let's look for a common denominator. So let's look at any fractions that are in the problem. And do you see that 6 would be a common denominator that we could make out of all those fractions? Well, what our trick is going to be is we're going to multiply every single group by 6. Now, we're doing something to the entire left and to the entire right, so there's nothing wrong with this. It doesn't break anything. keeps it balanced. And so let me see if I can use what they did. Yeah, they're showing it differently. Let me do it my way. So I'm multiplying every group by 6. So 6 times 1 sixth, I'm doing, multiplying that now. It's really like by 1 sixth y. But 6 times 1 sixth, they would cancel. And I'd be left with 1 y. Now 6 times 1 third. Now he's got a negative, but that would cancel down to make 2. So I've got a 2 there. And 6 times 5 sixths, the 6s sixth would cancel, and I'd be left with 5. Okay, now it's an extra step. I haven't solved anything. But what I have done is I've cleared out the nasty fractions, and I can then solve. So the rooms are clean. The y's in one room, so I can just solve by adding 2. Okay, I'm going to mark my groups. i got 1, 2, 3, separated by pluses or minuses or equals. Now, I'm looking for a common denominator, and it is 8. So I'm going to multiply every one of these groups by 8. Now, 8 times 1 fourth is going to be 2, and there was an x there, so 2x. 8 times 1 half is 4. And 8 times 5 eighths is 5. Okay, so we want to get the, the, the rooms clean. We want to get the, uh, the factor puzzle all to itself. So I'm going to subtract 5. I've got 2x is 1. Now let's solve for x by dividing 2 on each side. And x is 1 half. Okay, pause it and try this on your own if you want to. I'm going to mark my groups. I'm going to multiply every group by 8 because that's what I could turn all those fractions into. So 8 times 1 eighth would cancel down and be 1, so I've got just 1x. 8 times 1 half would cancel down, that would be a 4, so I've got plus 4. 8 times 1 fourth, cancel down, that give me a 2. Okay, the rooms are clean, let's get x by himself. Get x is negative 2. Okay, they've done the same thing to us, it's just more complicated, we got more fractions. So that just creates another group. So separated by pluses or minuses or equals, so I now have these, this extra group. Now if I'm looking for an LCD now, I'd like it to be the lowest one I can find. Unfortunately this one's not all that great. It's going to be 20. So I'm going to multiply every group by 20. Okay, now we're doing 60 by 20, so that's 120. 1 half times 20 is going to cancel down to be 10. So I've got 10 and V. 2 fifths times 20. Cancel down to get a 4 up there, so 2 times 4 is 8. And it had a V. And then I had a 3 fourths times 20. Cancel down, I get... Now it had a minus in front of it, so negative 15 V. Okay, the fractions are gone, so let's just start adding up. So what do I got? Got 3v over there. Now it's a factor puzzle. 3 times something equals 120. Well, if you're not sure what that is, we'll just divide. And we got it. All right, same thing. I've got one, two, three, four groups this time. My LCD is 12 wasn't sure there for a second. So every group is going to get a 12. 
multiplied by 12. Okay, 7 times 12 is 84. Now, I'm not going to take the fractions to the side. There's a lot of slides in this one, so I'm going to just keep going. But 12 times 1 half will get you 6x. 4 3 fourths times 12. Slash down, it's going to get you 9x. And then 12 times 3, 4, or 2 thirds would get you 8x. Okay, now I've got to clean my rooms. This room on the right's not finished, so 7x. Let's put my x's together. Now I've got a factor puzzle, so I want to divide both sides by 7. I get x is 12. Okay, same thing here. I'm going to mark my groups. The least common denominator is going to be 12. I can turn all of these into 12. So everybody's getting multiplied by a 12. Okay, negative 1 times 12 is negative 12. 1 half times 12 is going to give me 6u. 1 fourth times 12 is going to get me 3u. And I've got minus 2 thirds times 12, 3, 4, negative 8u. Okay, so remember, just pull the fractions over if you need to. I jump through there just for the sake of time. This room on the right's not clean. I get 9u minus 8u, I get 1u. Okay, 1u is the same as just u, so u is negative 12. Okay, same thing, a little different order here. I'm going to mark my groups. My LCD this time is 8. So every group is getting an 8. So the first one, 8 times A is just 8A. Eight, 8 times 3 fourths would be 6. 8 times 3 eighths would be 3A. 8 times negative 1 half is minus 4. Now the rooms are clean, but I've got A's in both rooms, so I'm going to get them back together. Now, get them alone, and this is who leaves first. So 5A is negative 10. A turns out to be negative 2. All right, let's do it again. We've got four groups. LCD is 6. So 6 times all these, I get 6x, because it's like a 1 in front of there, so make sure that makes sense. 6 times 1 third would get me plus 2, the x, minus 3. Okay, we got x's in both rooms, got to get them back together. So I'm taking away 2 from both rooms so I can get the 5x alone. Now I got my factor puzzle. Let's divide by 5. Get x is negative 1. Okay, here's another one. Pause if you want to try yourself. Got four groups. 4 is my LCD this time. So I get 4c. So 4 times 3 fourths gets me 3. 4 times 1 half gets me 2c. 4 times negative 1 fourth gets me negative 1. Okay, the rooms are clean, but I have C's in both rooms, so I'm going to get those back together. Okay, gets, I want to get down to the factor puzzle, so he's leaving first. Get rid of the 2 by dividing it away, and I get C as negative 2. Okay, now this is good. I want to show you this one. So if you were marking your groups, you'd see this is a group, and you might get tricked because I said plus or minus separates groups. But because that plus is buried inside a parenthesis, this is all still just one number. So this is just two things being multiplied. It's still one number because of the parentheses. It's just that group there. So we are now going to find the fraction. There's only one, so we're multiplying everything by 4. Now, negative 5 times 4 is negative 20. But when you do this one, because it's a big, long group, I only have to multiply the 4 by what's in the front there. So 1 fourth times 4 is just 1. 
So I'm not even going to show it anymore. They're going to knock each other out, and all I have left is the 8x plus 4. Okay, let's finish solving by getting rid of him. Let's see. Negative 24 equals 8x. We have the factor puzzle. You probably already see the answer. 8 times something's negative 24. Well, what is it? Okay, so I'm going to show you this one. This is all a group again. I know there's a plus, but it's buried inside of the parentheses, making this just one big multiplication group. So each is going to be multiplied by 2 because my only fraction is a 2. So I've got negative 22. Now they knock each other out again. I get 6p plus 2. Okay, the rooms are clean. He's in both rooms, but we're going to subtract 2. All right, 6 times p is what we wanted, but we're going to get rid of the 6. Okay, here's another one. Try this on your own. I'm going to go ahead and start. That's all a group. We're multiplying by 3 on both sides. So 8 times 3 is 24. If they knock each other out, I get 9q plus 6. Getting rid of him because I want the factor puzzle. So I've got 18 equals 9q. Divide both sides by 9 if you don't see the answer. And I've got 2 is q. All right, similar idea. We just have this on both sides. So there's only two groups. And our LCD is 4. So I'm multiplying both of these by 4. Now 4 times 1 half is 2. But it didn't totally knock each other out. So I'm going to now leave that 2 in the front. Over here, 4 times the 4th, they go, so I'm left with y minus 1. It's like there's a 1 out there, but if I distribute it, it's not going to change anything. Okay, now send the 2 through. 2y minus 10 equals y minus 1. Okay, subtract y from both sides, I get y minus 10. So I'm subtracting him to get y back together. I'm adding 10 now to get y alone. So y must be 9. OK, here's another one. These are all, so there's just two groups because the pluses are buried inside the parentheses. So 20 is my LCD this time. 20 times 1 fifth gets me a 4, and it's out front. Didn't, fit, didn't knock each other off. So I've got 5 over here, and it's out front. Now the fractions are gone, but I still have some cleaning up to do. Okay, now ends in both rooms. So I'm going to move these guys over here to keep the end to be positive. Now simple, we want one end to be what's left, so I'm subtracting 10. 2 is 1n, but that's nothing, that just means n must be 2. Okay, pause the video if you want to try it. There's my two groups. I'm going to multiply both sides by 4. 2 and 4, my LCD is 4. So over here, that creates a 2 out front. Over here, they knock each other out, so I'm just going to put in minus 7. It's like there's a 1, distribute them, doesn't mean anything. Okay, so we send this through. Now the rooms are clean, but I've got M's on both sides. Okay, add 6. So 1m is negative 1. That's the same thing. I should have maybe done that. doesn't change anything. Okay, now they've made this look different, but this is all a group. It's being all divided. Now I know there's a minus, but it's all being divided. So that created it to be one group. Because it's all connected, like it's interconnected, like the parentheses made it interconnected, that minus is not separating it. It's all a group. OK, so now my LCD is 4. So this is a little different. Like it, It's the same idea, but you may not see it as clearly, so I'm going to show it like this. 
So this entire group is being multiplied by 4. Well, they will cancel. And it will just leave me 5x minus 3. Over here, I'm going to get 2x. Okay, rooms are clean. Uh, you know, this doesn't happen very much, but let's do, I don't want to leave this room empty. So let's go ahead and take away 5x's from over there. So I'm going to get negative 3 is negative 3x. Okay, now I've got a negative 3. Let's divide by a negative 3. It doesn't change anything. It's just a number. So negative 3 divided by negative 3 is 1. x must be 1. Okay, this is all a group because it's all joined by that division bar. So even though there's a subtraction sign, it's all still grouped together because of the division. My LCD is 6. Got two groups. So 6 times 4y minus 7 over 3 equals 6 times y over 6. Now, I haven't been showing this every time, but it's, this is what you're really doing. Those 6s would cancel. Get just a y over there. Now, the 3 and the 6 would reduce, so I'm left with a 2 out front there. Okay, let's distribute the 2. I get 8y minus 14 equals y. Now, it's okay to leave a room empty. You'd put a 0 there, but let's not do that. Let's move the 8y's over the other side by subtracting. Okay, we've got a factor puzzle. Negative 7 times something equals negative 14. Well, let's divide both sides by negative 7. Negative by a negative is going to give me 2. Y is 2. Okay, same thing. We've got two groups. LCD is 8, so I'm multiplying every group by an 8. So let me show you again because this looks a little weird. This is what we're really doing. Okay, they would reduce down. I got a 2. Okay, let's clean this up by distributing negative 2z minus 10 equals z. All right, I don't want to leave this room empty, so we're going to add two z's over here because we've got clean rooms. Got to get the z's together. Hmm, did I do everything? Okay, we're going to get a weird fraction this time. Didn't expect that. Okay, divide both sides by 3. So z is negative 10 over 3. Okay, not much different about this. I'm going to mark my groups. Now, my LCD here is 12. So multiply every group by 12. So I should maybe have always been doing this. I don't know. Yeah, this is really what we're doing if it wasn't clear. Okay, so that reduces. Makes it 2. So 2 times a is 2a. This is 24. That reduces to make 27 and 36. Oh, 20. oh, hold on. I'm sorry. I got tricked by my own. Those are a's. So this was 3a plus 36. Okay, the rooms are clean, but I've got a's in both rooms, so I'm going to subtract 2a away. Right now we're just going to get rid of the 36. Negative 12 equals a. Got one, two, three, four groups. My LCD is is 40 the best I can do. No, 20 is. So I'm going to multiply everybody by 20. Now I'm not going to show it out longhand again, but 20 times b over 10. Well, I don't know. Maybe I should have been doing that. This is redu reduces. I get 2b plus 36. 
plus 40. That reduces to make 5b. And this makes 100. Okay. Let's get them back together. Let's get them alone. He leaves first. One more, recommend you try it. Pause the video if you want to. Mark in my groups here, LCD is six. Now I'm not gonna show it this time. I'm gonna run a six through everything. The six is canceled there, I get a C. Six times three is 18. Six and three would reduce down, I'd get two C. Six times four, 24. Okay, I'm gonna take away a C from both sides. Okay, let's get C alone. I take away 24 from both sides. C is negative 6. Okay, I just want to see what we got left. Okay, almost done. Alright, this is a more complicated variation, but same idea. This is a group because it's all being divided. That brings it all together as one group, two, three groups. LCD is 4. So because we've got a lot going on, I'm going to show this one. Okay. So these reduce down. I'm left with a 2 out front of that parenthesis. This is 24. They cancel, so there's really a 1 there, but if you distribute it, it doesn't change anything, so I'm going to just go 3 cubed plus 5. All right, the rooms are not clean, so I'm going to clean them up. 8 cubed plus 6 plus 24 equals 3 cubed plus 5. Okay, still not clean. Okay, the rooms are clean. Let's get the cues back together. Now, he leaves first because we want the factor puzzle. So I've got 5q equals negative 15. Now divide both sides by the 5. q is negative 3. Okay, I think we got two that are going to follow the same pattern. Feel free to try them or you can watch. LCD is going to be a 6. So with these, I definitely think I should show that. Okay, those would cancel. I've got 3r plus 5 plus 6. These cancel but leave a 2 behind. Okay, got some cleaning to do. 3r plus 11 equals 8r plus 6. Rooms are clean, but I've got r's in both rooms. I've got 11 equals 5r plus 6. Okay, he leaves first, so I've got 5 equals 5r. r is 1 when I divide both sides by 5. Okay, last one of these. Three groups. Every group by 4. Okay, reduce this down, I get 2 times 2s plus 3. This is 4. That reduces, they're gone. So it leaves the 1, but I don't, I can just get rid of that. So I'm cleaning this room up, I get 4s plus 6 plus 4 equals 3s plus 2. Still cleaning, I get 4s plus 10 equals 3s plus 2. Got S's in both rooms, so I gotta do, deal with that. Got 1S plus 10 equals 2. Let's get S alone. 
I subtract, he leaves. S is negative 8. Now it's 1s, but that doesn't change anything. So there's my final answer. Okay, so mark your groups. Be careful of the tricky ones that are buried inside of a parenthesis or when there's a group that's all over top of a large division sign. Um, be careful for those. Multiply every group by the LCD and you clear out the fractions.